Howdy, 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 my beautiful Libra. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading for September, Libra, and see what's going to be happening in your life. All right, darling? So when it comes to consuming tarot readings on YouTube, Libra, all right, be sure to consume more than just your one zodiac sign. Check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus, and let me know how the, in the comments below how my reading resonates with you. All right? So starting out your energy here, Libra, you have the chariot card coming in. All right? The energy is gaining momentum here, Libra, and I have a sneaking suspicion that you already know what's responsible for this. Like, I, when I say the energy is gaining momentum, like, I feel like you're already having, like, a little bit of a wicked, like, I'm being shown, like, a wicked uh, grin, Libra. It's like, you, you're planning something. Like, you started something. You might, This could be, like, project-related. You could, you know, in a social way, you could see this as, like, you're starting to, see, starting to see the progression of what could be something really beautiful um, when it comes to just relationships in your life, platonic or romantic, Libra. All right? Whenever I think about this chariot energy, though, all right? The biggest thing you need to overcome, all right, is this Nine of Swords energy, all right, Libra? So this is a card where it's like you're putting in the work, right? I always like to use the analogy where it's like, think of it like a train, Libra, where it's like the more coal that you put into that train, the faster it's going to be chugga-chugging, right? It's the faster it's going to be progressing. I do see on some on some level for you, Libra, where you might be saying to yourself, be like, oh, am I wasting my time? Like, uh, you know, I'm not seeing this progression that I think I should be seeing, right? Or it's like you may feel like you're not seeing any progression all right and so just continue putting in the coal continue putting in the efforts libra all right just because you don't see the immediate movement doesn't mean it's not actually happening all right so don't get too lost you know on the momentum of things because it is continuously progressing for you libra all right you have the nine of cups afterwards uh for you all right i do feel you know the nine of cups represents libra like a wish being granted for you so in this way you're going to start seeing the fruits of your labors in the coming days all right and don't get frustrated like i feel like it's going to come in waves for you in your life where it's like some really good things start happening and then you might start having like a pause or a period libra where like not much is going on like i feel like the energy is going to be continuously coming in waves and i'm being shown like this old water park i used to go to when i was a kid called wild waters libra and like as the, it's like a wave pool right that's what they were known for and so i think wave pools are pretty popular so it's like as a wave pool happens right it starts out slow where it's like you have some small uh waves once in a while but then as the time progresses libra it picks up the waves start getting bigger as well as how frequent they come and that's how i feel like it's going to be happening for your story right now libra where it's like it starts coming it starts things start feeling good you know once in a while and then it starts picking up right it starts picking up the pace the only thing you have to do libra is not get frustrated at the initial paste pace of that wave pool right you don't walk out of the wave pool because you're just like oh man these waves are lame right because when you walk out of the wave pool then you start seeing like the actual fun of it right i don't know why i'm choosing to use wave pool as the analogy but spirit speaks in mysterious ways darling all right so to a sword it's coming in as well so point of no return here libra i do feel as if you need to have some pressure applied to you as well well i see on some level libra you might be saying like nah valka like the last thing i need is some mental stress or emotional stress at this time here right but i actually want to challenge you here libra all right because it's not to say that you're not already going through it darling i want to acknowledge that libra entirely but i do feel like with this two of swords energy where it's like the pressure needs to apply where it's just like there's no going back there's no going back is like what I hear from this here. It's like no longer, it's like the sense of like no longer having something be part of your story anymore. No longer uh, finding yourself in the same routines and the same habits, doing the same thing that you used to always do, getting caught up in old ways, right? I feel like this is this time it's like really different for you, Libra, where you are really taking these steps towards really separating yourself from an old version of yourself libra all right and i do feel like for you it's yes it's going to be hard right yes you're going to be having weak moments libra where you don't really know uh if 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 if, if this is all worth it right but i can tell you at the end of this destination that you go like as you continue progressing here libra it's going to be fabulous right 
Sun energy right off the back of the deck here. It's the po most positive card in the deck, Libra. It's going to work out here. The journey itself, I cannot sit here and promise you, do, Libra, that you're going to be seeing hummingbirds mating and sunflowers and roses brought to you every morning, right? The journey itself, you know, it, it could have some rough patches, you know, but just trust the process with the sun energy that is going to be working out really positively. But you have to stay the course, Libra. All right. Afterwards is the world card here. I'm going to start pulling it for this roll here but you have to stay the course libra all right the world card is the final card in the minor arcana representing closing of a chapter to begin a new cycle of your life a new story of your life here you're shutting an old version of yourself libra which is very fitting right because it's about to be our season you're shutting an old version of yourself libra and so you don't want to be picking back up after you shed it you look, looking at the old skin be like oh i want to bring this with me i want to bring that with me no darling you are starting a new version of yourself entirely and i feel like you have to not only does your actions have to represent this libra right uh but your your words your mindset has to represent this as well where it's like it can feel silly initially where it's like okay like i don't need to imagine myself like morphing into a beautiful butterfly right but there is this sense of like needing to i'm being shown like threading here so it's like you're needing to really help along this thread that's being like from the from the divine here help grounding it in place here libra and that's through your words through affirmations through action libra that you build up that one single single strand and have it become something more sturdy more potent where it's like a direct line a powerful line between the divine and you whatever it is that you're trying to create for this world here or who it is that you're trying to connect to in this world here libra you're very spiritually in tune is what i get take this as you will libra this is becoming channeled now you're very spiritually in tune libra but i feel as if there's this sense of like being too dismissive maybe too dismissive of like being like oh i don't need to like you know i feel like you need to bring something to life where it's like libra that's what i mean by this pr uh, pressure where it's like you put the pressure on yourself to commit to a routine you commit more pressure on yourself to really crack down and buckle down and honor your commitments libra knight of pentacles energy with this world card it's time for you time for you to crack down honor your commitments start honoring those routines in your life libra you need to start holding yourself more accountable at this time because this things are speeding up for you here all right and this train's going to leave you if you don't keep up with it here all right i see you in this place libra where it's like you have been going through it all right you have lost a lot i feel like you already have been shedding for quite some time time libra um for the previous past like months i feel or feel you've been shedding a lot that's why you have all these pentacles like dropping off of this knight of pentacles here right but this knight of pentacles is still with right this knight of pentacles doesn't have like still has a pentacle on their back they're not struggling but they're still releasing into this new path into very fittingly with that two of swords where there is no going back you're you're leaving it all in the past libra to own this new version of yourself all right that's powerful that's absolutely powerful and so you have to treat this as like you know i don't really get too lost on different con uh, perceptions of the world or what have you but if you believe in like timeline jumping libra the, do some research on timeline jumping where it's like you really i personally haven't because it doesn't really align with me but it might with you because that's what's coming to mind where it's just like you have to jump to a different timeline version of yourself libra of where you see yourself in a more empowered place where you see yourself like whatever it is your goal is darling right i can't speak for you for what it is that you desire out of this lifetime all right so i and i get like this sense it's like it needs to be all immersive for you of one foot in and one foot out it has to be completely just full-on commitment immersed into the situation here and then that's how you get to that ten of pentacles libra that's how you share a table with your soul family here all right and notice well yes that knight of pentacles is dropping all those pentacles behind them they still end up to this ten of pentacles journey libra where it's like they have abundance all right so you're going through a period of where you are shedding you're going through a period of where there's no like 
point of no return is something that keeps coming to mind libra point of no return you might be noticing into this new path here i do see you connecting with all different walks of life here new social connections in whatever way that looks like for you and i just get very different it could be people that are younger than you or older than you uh, it could be people of very opposite beliefs or practices to you maybe different work settings entirely where it's like you're more corporate and then you befriend a stripper nothing wrong with a stripper right obviously but that's how i see like a contrast like you're going to be attracting social connections libra that are very uh that are of a contrast to you but complement you in ways right it's not just the sense of like you know opposites being like oh like opposite morals or something like that don't take it to that degree let's start getting into your oracle cards today libra see what guidance we have from the oracle i'm going to be pulling from multiple decks net caster preparations are coming to fruition libra all right this is what i basically have been saying this entire time preparations coming to for which to fruition for you you're setting your cast out far libra all right to take note of the uh the seahorse here i feel like the seahorse has some uh spiritual signification for you all right so keep a note of seahorses in your life maybe it's already been relevant or maybe it's going to be coming in the coming days for you libra all right you're casting your net far all right the further you cast your net the more that you're going to bring up with you all right that's where the pressure is being uh, applied for you libra all right if you are wanting to uh, come into a new version of yourself libra i want you to think bigger i want you to shoot bigger all right whatever ideas whatever goals or ambitions that you have let's think bigger let's shoot out bigger all right because it's going to do nothing but help you gain a better harvest at the end of the day all right let's not have, this is not the time to have a limiting mindset here spiritual narcolepsy the fallen angel here all right i feel like for many of you here libra it's time for you to find yourself ultimately here and i know that sounds really corny libra but it's about to be your uh, um your CR season here because I'm a Libra as well it's about to be our season here Libra and I feel like for you I don't know I get like this sense of where you're stepping into like a new spiritual path or what spiritual what spirituality to you up until this point is going to be different from what you're stepping into I don't know it's I know it sounds corny Libra but the only way I can express this energy is just like I feel like I'm tapping into one version of you, Libra, and then I, I'm noticing like this new energy starting to form of a new version of yourself, Libra. And that's, that's how I feel like your life is playing off of right now, darling, where it's like in order to have this new version of yourself, you have to completely let go of this old version. All right. And so the very transformative energies right now, which makes sense for where Pluto is astrologically for you, Libra. All right. But I do get like this sense of like what you stand for, maybe spiritual practice or something. There's something really evolving and you, you making it your own Libra. You have the panda card coming in here, creating a sacred space for yourself, home and of the workplace. Pay attention to your home place at this time, Libra. All right. You might be making changes in the home or your home might be shifting. Other than that, I will be saying for you, Libra, I think it's important for you to get into daily ritual. All right. I know that's a controversial thing for some people, Libra, but I do feel like as I was referencing before, I feel like it's important for you to get some daily intentions or start. It sounds corny, but I feel like it's important for you to get out of what's going on in your skull libra internally and start putting it into action start putting it into paper start putting it into practice it's like you have all this knowledge you know what you need to you it's like you have for example libra it's like you have the knowledge the wisdom to be able to create a manifestation ritual that is extremely powerful that will get you results but at the same time it's like your knowledge it's like that's not going to create the rituals like you know how to go from point a to point b with that ritual but until you actually put it on paper you know, is not going to manifest, you know, does that make sense, Libra? Let's continue on here. The Roadrunner, keeping your sense of humor. Don't take things so seriously at this time. I feel like your spiritual team are starting to imply to you, Libra. All right. Yeah. And then the weasel card in the back of the deck here. It's almost as if your spiritual team, Libra, is starting to imply to you that they're going to be preparing you for some type of trip or journey here. All right. Mark this on your calendar now because I'm willing to guarantee you sometime during your birthday season, Libra, uh, you're about to be really celebrating something like of a new journey or something like that. But you have to do your part spiritually is what I hear with that. If you want to have like a specific goal to be created this card says be silent libra and pay attention and simply observe with your eyes ears and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you darling libra all right so 
that's what I have for you today, Libra. Let's leave you with some final thoughts, tarot cards here. See if there's anything else that needs to be said. All right. I feel like we've covered pretty much everything. If you enjoy this reading today, check the top right hand corner of your screen, Libra, to see your month, the monthly pick a card reading that I uploaded. All right. Page of Pentacles coming in with the lovers and Queen of Swords here. All right. The only thing Spirit really wants to bring to your attention, finally, Libra, is to not to be too guarded here. All right. I see you in this time of deep self-reflection. I even noticed it. I don't know if I pointed it out, but I noticed the Page of Swords at one point in your reading, Libra. And I was kind of like, okay, um, you are, as I said earlier, you are going to be attracting some people that are vastly different from you, Libra. And it's going to be during this time of introspection for you, right? Page of Pentacles, someone extending out communication to you, lover's energy. Don't get lost on the literal meaning of like the lover right it's not going to be just you know relationships of all types let's not be limited in our perceptions of what we think about relationships other than that i can really just tell you spirits letting you know that you're going to be expecting some communication with an energy don't ignore it or you know choose what you want to do accordingly but don't get too lost into the self-reflection that nothing it becomes impossible to reach out to you libra all right so that's the weekly tarot reading that i have for you libra hopefully something resonated with you in this reading and i'll connect with you later on darling bye libra